No, well, come on, I let's totally do it again. Take two. Hey guys! That's us making fun of 11th Gorgeous. No, we're not making fun of them. We love their intro, and this is what they do. They're like, hey guys! They do that every time. So, everybody, we always talk about this. Everybody's got their own little YouTube thing that they do, and so that's theirs. And we like them, they're, they're funny. Cute. They're very funny, funny, funny girls. So, so we, we like have a them. haul for you guys today. Yes, because yes, we went to TJ yes. Maxx and Sephora, and we had to take back some things to TJ Maxx, yep. which I told you guys. I think I told you guys earlier today that there are some things that we're going to go back, and um, one of them was the foundation, which was oh my gosh, I'm sorry, I still can't get over that Stilla um, cover girl beat Stilla, but it doesn't surprise me too much. So. I also wanted to find another Kat Von D palette, and which, which it is. I'm so excited because we were looking and they had them like stacked, like triple rows of Kat Von D palettes mm -hmm. the other day. And when we went in, there was none there. And I was like, oh man, we're not going to get it. And so it's so funny. We were standing, we had looked at all the stuff. We were there for about 30 minutes and I put my hand down on this box and I'm resting my hand on this box and I'm all, I can't believe we didn't find a palette in Savannah's all. I look down and under my hand is the palette inside the box. I'm literally yeah. resting my hand on the box. And 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 then we found two more on top of it. But we got one so for this a giveaway. Is a giveaway. I'm she so ended excited. up really, really oh liking gosh. the palette. And it's not look, fake. It's look, good. you guys, no creasing. The color is just as vibrant now as it was this morning. And I have not found one. One. Not one that has had this kind of stand power on my eyes yeah. because of what I deal with as well. So I love Kat Von D products and it's authentic. I did have it authenticated and so I'm excited about it. I'm very excited. So we got another one. And let me show you, we are going to oh, give yes. this a chance. Well, no, because no, no, I we think the one real. we got one, the one we got before was fake, but this one actually smells like it should. No, this is real. And here, let me tell you how I know. Not only does it smell Sorry, normal, guys, but this is what I think happened. And we were trying to figure this out. And this is what people do. People take their fake ones they get on eBay or all their little sites. And then they go in and they switch it inside the box. And that's what I think happened. They took the real one out and they put the fake one in. And when I got this today and I saw these there, I was like, okay. And I don't know why this is doing this. I'm trying to get it yeah, to, sorry, to not glare. I don't know. There it goes. Now it's doing it. When I saw this today, I was like, okay, we're going to see if these are legit or not. And so um, I took it out as she showed you and I could tell immediately by the smell. It just smells like normal. Normal makeup. Normal makeup. And the other one reeked of container and so this is the real deal and I'm We're so excited to I'm try convinced it. that what happened at TJ Maxx now I'm hoping that that's the case TJ Maxx I know has sold me fake items before I know it because I told you before I've tested their sterling products I am a jewelry jewelry designer and I test everything and they have sold me fake sterling silver that they have marked as sterling so yeah Maybe they're mixing in some fake palettes with the real to deceive us. I don't know, but it could be that someone just switched it. But I'm yeah. excited that I got the real deal today, and I'm excited because I think this is just going to be a giveaway item. I don't even think I'm going to use it, but yeah. we'll see. I don't know, but I don't think so because I already have the naturalized palette, and it's very similar. Mm -hmm. But we also got this little beauty. It's called Cosmic Colors. These are supposed to be highlighters. It was only $4.99. And they're super pretty, guys. This is by Style Essentials. And we're going to, while she's showing you this, I'm going to open this up. Yes. And we'll test it to see. Because I want you guys to know if this is something that's worth for you guys to go in and get in. Because if yeah. it's junk, I'm going to just take it back. Like you guys know, I don't have any kind of oh, problem doing that anymore. Oh, it is cruelty-free too. Yeah, this is cruelty-free product, and it is made in the USA. 
which you too, know, yes, which I really so appreciate that. One other thing really quick is what we got. These are Coachella Natural Moon You gotta drops. hold it still, baby. There. Yeah, there you go. Um, yeah, sorry. Coachella, there we go. They're Coachella Natural Moon Drops. This is what it looks like. This so is for your this face. This is all natural, apparently. And it, this was seven ninety nine. Okay. It you got, has yeah, hyaluronic acid. It's got it's for I'm going to say okay. that. It's vegan, no harsh preservatives, petrochemical free, paraben free, phthalate free. Sorry. Phthalate GMO free. Phthalate yeah. free. Oh. GMO free and it's cruelty free. Oh my gosh. And it has Go get it. The number one ingredient is water, so it's really good for you. I'm excited oh. to try these. She's oh. going to try them. I think she's going to like them. Oh my gosh. If you guys so see this, go get it. Look at those colors and see. look at the pigment. Oh. See, I would use these as eyeshadows. I would never oh use them as Oh my gosh. It's go this was $4.99 and when I saw it, I just knew. Oh, and I don't know what's going on with my camera today. Look at those colors. Again, I did it on the wrong side of my hand, like a total blonde. But this is gorgeous. These are beautiful colors. These are like oh highlighting my gosh. shades that you can actually Love it. use. Go snap it up. It is, again, it, the palette is called Cosmic Colors. And it is by um, Style Essentials. And it is the bomb.com. Mm -hmm. Amazing $4.99. You're not going to beat it. You could use it as highlighters or just for your eyes. Wow, I'm so impressed. And then here's another goodie that we found. <gasps> I'm so excited about this. I'm going to take it oh out Oh my before. gosh. This, Don't swatch. We had gotten the Bare Minerals. There we go. The nat the Nature of Nudes. And this was only $16.99. Yes. $42 value. So great and price. It this is what it looks beautiful. like. Beautiful. Look at how gorgeous that palette is, by the way. It's super thin. It's so too, by beautiful. The way. It's not thick and here's Look what at it looks the colors. Like. That now, is gorgeous. On the box, this looks like a palette that's like wah, Yeah, wah, it does wah. not look it good. It does at all. not look anything like it what it looks like. You think this is all matte and that it just looks drab, like everything looks similar. But when you open it up but and look, you're like, oh, truffle oh, is super pretty. It's gorgeous. It's a gorgeous how, and you get a mirror. $16.99. So I I may even go back and get another one for a giveaway because if I they just have think it's one. so They only have beautiful. one up at the front. No, they have them at ours. I saw them at ours. Oh, they do? Yeah. That, we went to a different TJ Maxx today because ours but was like... this was such a seal for $16.99. You can't go wrong. And then I got the Pixie Corrector Pen. And it's my color, the light, which I... You know, it's so funny too. I just got the Pixie, I showed you guys the Pixie palette I got with my Target rewards, like Target stuff. I, it was at TJ Maxx today for $7.99 and I just spent $24.99 on it at Target. And um, they were all broken. All so of them we're going to search and see if we can find another one and then I'm going to take mine back to Target and get my $24.99 back. Yeah, but, the whole top row was broken. See? This is the... Yeah, the, everything. This is the Pixie pencil. Very cool. See, this is the one from Target, and at the at TJ Maxx, these were all broken and powder. Was and there's everywhere. the. It's um. Oh wow. I don't know if that's doing it to you guys, but it's really looking bad here. I think here. it's what we're focusing on. So um, it feels good. It is a little thick at first, but it feels pretty good. And I think if you just bake, it's going to be fine. But yeah. this will be great when you're in a pinch. This will not be something I use every day, but when you're in a pinch and you want to have it in your purse or something, then you don't want to carry around something big. Yeah. Love it. And this was $3.99. Can't beat that. So let me show you. We have gotten some lip products too. Let me show you because I got... Yes. Guys, this is how bad my obsession is with lip Jeez. She has a lip this bag balm. Is full. This is Look just this. lip balms, you guys. Lip balms. Lip balms. And like <laughs> two lip scrubs. Can you believe that? She is with lip balms like I'm about palettes. I'm sorry. Let's so all get honest. We, I'm sorry. I have a new 
new obsession, and that's palettes. I'm not kidding. And mine just, is lip balms. It's so bad, but you balms. can never have enough lip balms. So she thinks, and I think you can never have enough. But look how cute this is. Mm -hmm. Here, you, you can, can show it, Wes. It's okay. Don't no, show it. This is the Pixie by Petra Green Eyeliner Pencil, and the, the color is gorgeous. So it's go like ahead. an army green, but we had gotten this cute little... <gasps> macaroon I lip just balm. Hit the tip. Um, it looks really ugly on camera, but in person, it's like a really pretty, um, light, lighter green. <gasps> and this is what mm. it looks like. It almost looks similar to the one you got in your, you could have gotten in your Ipsy bag, which I have that one too. This one is scented like green oh, apple. This is the one I have from Ipsy. And then we also got. A trio of these lip trio. Balms. It was six. Yeah, you got sorry. six of these cute these little things. It I picked out the mango yeah. and for three ninety nine. That was less than a dollar a piece. And I put this on under my um, Too Faced matte, and now it's like super perfect. Drying. Love it because the matte Too Faced mattes are super drying, and now yeah. it doesn't give me that really hard look. But this doesn't give you the super greasy either. Yeah, and I'm actually wearing it under my lips. And well, hold on, hold on. I got the pencil here. So this, I broke the tip. But look at that. No, oh, you broke the tip. It's okay. I can sharpen it. But look at that. That buck doesn't budge. Three ninety nine for this amazing army green. And look at that. Three ninety nine. And look at that, you guys. It doesn't budge. I mean, look now. Now I'm pushing. I am pushing, and that's not going anywhere. That's, that's really pretty good. remarkable. And last but not least for the lip balms, my mom got this Kind Nature this Nourishing for me. Manuka Honey Lip Balm. This is all natural ingredients. Yeah. It only has essential oils, 100% organic cornuba wax. And it's wax. a squeezy tube, um, which I like squeezy tube. I don't know about you guys, oh, you but opened it. it is um, super nice. No, I didn't actually. Oh. It has castor seed oil, beeswax, shea butter, no um, what I said, but and it's made with honey, and it's mm -hmm. all natural, and it was $2.99, and so I have to start being better about what I'm doing, so when I saw that, but I was also, like, I'm it snapping it up. It's a good size, good size. Yeah, really nice size, and I love that it's a tube. I don't like having to do your finger to do lips or anything. So which one do you want And to do? so the brushes, is fine, either one. And my mom had gotten these brushes. I love brushes. She loves brushes. Love They're these brushes. really pretty rose gold ones. And, and I already had gotten some of these, so they're just... I tried to stay with the same colors, even though I've got 40 million, not 40 million, that's that's not true. But I have a lot of different kinds of brushes, but I have gotten another little set of different brushes of that same exact color, the same brand. Yeah. And so I was really, I can't use the really puffy um, blender brushes. And this one is exactly your, okay, I'm sorry, I'm way over too. That camera sorry, is Sorry, guys. So, this, I can't use the super duper fluffy, like when they look this fat both ways. This is the type that works best for me for doing my crease and stuff. So and when I, like I saw it, I was ones. like, I'd get it just for this brush because it's so hard for me to find bigger crease brushes that work for blending out really well. And look how cute they are. Yes, look at the handles. The, pa the pattern on the handles are super pretty. And it's woe So gold. you get a flat packer brush. A fluffy crease brush and an eyebrow. Yeah, just for your under thing. eye liner yeah. or whatever. And this was five ninety nine. Yeah, five ninety nine. And then I had already previously gotten this palette, and then when I got that thick palette, I was so upset that I took everything back. I was really mad. I was like ready to boycott TJ Maxx. I'm not kidding. But now that I'm, now that we've done this test, look, I'm still going to be just as cautious because. Yeah. Uh, the fact is, is they do sell fake things, just as the same as, like, I was watching a video of a girl last night who got a fake Too Faced palette from Sephora, and someone either came in and switched it or bought it and put a fake one in and then returned yeah. it, and they put it back on the shelf, even though they're not supposed to, but, see, like, today, I heard a Sephora employee say yesterday on YouTube that Sephora is not supposed to put any product on the shelf, even yeah. if you tell them it was not used, and today the girl's all... Well, did you use this or not? Meaning, they're going to put it back. 
even though their policy is to never put it back. And, yeah. and so, like, why would it even matter? Like, not why true. would they ask the question if yeah. they don't if even the, put it if back? If they don't put it back, you don't need to ask if it was used yeah. or not. So, but this is called the Rock the Crock palette, and um, this I have seen tested by many people on YouTube already. It is absolutely gorgeous, and so I got it. It is beautiful. It actually has a, a not so bad brush. This, these the colors are justice. gorgeous. Yeah, the camera is not doing it justice, but this is a beautiful um, purple. This is a chocolate, deep chocolate brown. It's rose gold. There's, the colors are gorgeous. And this was $6.99, so I wanted to get it because I knew that it was good quality. I've seen the swatches. I've seen people do eye looks with this, and so, and look at how gorgeous, by the way, I think this is nicer it is a very than palette. most palettes that you get out there. Like this is way better than a Morphe or some of these other cheesy little palettes. And it's got this bend over that keep, I love yeah, that. I love that too. Because it keeps it from opening up and flipping. And so this, I love it. I love, I it's think it's beautiful. Like so this is going to go into a giveaway. Rock the Crock print, basically. Yeah, and it, it's called Rock the Crack palette. And it's called, it's by Y... YBF, which I don't know who that is, but um, their 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 things actually rock, just like it says. Their shadows rock. So I'll let her do her little mini Sephora thing. And so I told you guys in the previous video before this that I took back some things to Sephora. I'm telling you, after today, I just don't know if I'll ever shop at Sephora again, other than doing stuff online. Yeah. I am so disgusted at how their employees treat people it is beyond beyond me how they do it and get away with it they are yeah. the nastiest girls they they give you that um any smile is that is that like i'd like to stab you with a knife smile like it's just like like you're just i can't even do it because i just don't do that but oh Oh, the, the girl that helped us today. I, so rude. Oh my gosh. So rude. I just wanted to be like, you know what? I want to thank you for being like a witch today. I just want to thank you for being so rude. But I did it. I was loving and kind as I always am. And I just keep my mouth shut. And then I pray for those people's salvation. And I pray for the Lord to just wake them up to, the, to how they treat people. It's beyond me how they ever get service oriented jobs. It honestly yeah. is. So Anyways. I was going to take back the things that were the, the cover effects highlighter had literal oil bubbles coming up from the highlighter sitting on top of it. It was gross. And it just made me, it convinced me that it had to be years old for it to separate like that. It, it couldn't be new. It just couldn't be new. And so I was like, I'm taking it back. And then the more I started looking at the stuff I got, I was like, I don't care if it was on sale. I don't care if it was 15 bucks. I'm taking it back. I'm just not that impressed. So I took back the yeah. little mini Sephora palette that was just kind of wah, wah it was color wise. It was very boring. It wasn't, it didn't have any if kind of life. Like neutrals, maybe, it just was, it was boring. boring. And so I've wanted a Violet Voss palette for a really a long time. And so I thought, oh my gosh. I just wasn't thinking about how much it totaled up to, but the Violet Boss palette was $45, and this is the wrong palette. What do you mean? This is the wrong palette. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my g Guys, we literally got the wrong palette. Oh my gosh. So, this is the palette I have today, but this is not the palette that I wanted to buy. They had it in the wrong spot and I grabbed it. Now, mind you, this is I a beautiful be palette, <laughs> but I wanted the chocolate one, the one that has all the browns. And oh I was first gonna gosh. get the Like a Boss palette. We ended up getting the Holy Grail. Oh my Grail gosh, and this is the Holy Grail, and this is not the one I wanted. She won, oh my gosh. And Which, oh, this I can't pretty. believe, now I have to go all the way back <laughs> again. This product is, almost as creamy as Natasha Denona. If you haven't heard of Violet Voss, there aren't a lot of places that carry it. So, um, Ulta does not carry Violet Voss, which I think is a huge mistake on their behalf. 
This palette is $45 and I think it blows away um, ABF. I think, I think it blows them out of the water because first of all, this is not flaky like why, like why, what is it? Anastasia, Anastasia Anast Beverly Hills. Anastasia, yeah. Um, this gives you way more color variations and, but wow, it looks I'm like not, I, obviously something went wrong, went wrong with that video because my phone cut out right at that point when we were just wrapping it up about the Violet Voss palette. And just so you know, we were done with the haul. You guys saw everything that we had gotten. And I did go back to the store that night and I did get the right, and it's called Taupe Notch Palette. And I would have Savannah sitting here with me today, but she's getting ready right now, getting beautiful. And I will show you this really quick. I did just do a review of this palette right now. I just swatched it. And boy, it's hard to get out. It's nice and tight, which I kind of like that actually. Because it keeps it sturdier. But um, this is the palette I meant to get. Let me take the safety shield off. That's the one I wanted. And I literally, what I always do is they had four of these. And I never grabbed the first one because that's always the one everybody grabs and puts back and they handled it, man handled it, girl handled it, and sometimes even swatch them. And so I grabbed one behind it in the middle and I didn't look, I just took it up and paid for it. I didn't pay attention to the box and lo and behold someone had stuck the wrong palette there. So this is the one I intended to get and I'm sorry but that day when we got back we had um, the rest of the day was family time and so I'm sorry that the video ended weird and that I had to put these two together but I love you and I pray that God keeps you safe in this crazy crazy world we live in bye